Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of the main line, we're going to be taking a break from the main line, well, this main line that we're constructing at the minute to supply some more iron ore to uh, the steel mill that we're currently producing steel from. I just want to try and ramp up production. I've got two coal trains supplying coal to the steel mill now, but I only have one iron ore mine supplying iron ore to the steel mill. So in the last episode, we extended the the first main line of I think I'm going to call this the central main line from Smethwick to Northwich and we've got a service well we haven't got a service going from Northwich to Smethwick yet but we've got a service going from Northwich to Liverpool so I'm going to leave that as is for the time being I'm not really going to do too much more to that but we do need to get some more iron ore shipped in because if we look here it just proves the point that we can sh you can ship product to uh what from one location to another from a producer to a consumer without uh, shipping the actual end product if you get what i mean uh, so we've got loads of coal so you can see here we've got st uh, stored coal we've got 10,000 units of stored coal from the coal mines and that's because i've ramped up the shipments of coal we've got two coal mines linked to the steel mill now but because we're only uh, sending one load of 400 iron ore to the steel mill then we're not uh, living up to our full potential at the steel mill because it takes two iron ore and two coal to produce just one steel so what i've had to do for the time being is i've taken off the second uh, steel train that was uh, going to the the what what is it what are we supplying the machines factory so just one steel train at the minute i don't think that's doing particularly well either no um yeah it's let's have, let's just take a look at what that that's no that's iron ore you are the steel train let's have a look at the finances yeah not great uh, this lumber as well this lumber is not doing particularly great that's all over the place so i don't know what i'm going to do about about these two for the time being we'll just uh leave it as is i guess but uh yeah those two but yeah in order to get actual steel production ramped up we need more iron ore so i'm looking at this i've already done some painting a while ago so what a junction that's uh, comes into this main line and then probably eventually goes off to uh off to reading and i've just remembered another thing as well so the steel at the minute and the lumber is coming all the way down this main line past northwich past smethwick past north allerton past uh, bishop's waltham and then coming into the reading's machine factory now just looking at what i've painted here it would be so much more efficient if it just came down this line here wouldn't it so this line will serve three purposes so let's get on and start laying some track shall we uh, so let's probably leave that as a level crossing it's not like a main main connection we'll go with high speed tracks we'll go with no catenary for now and we'll just lay in two pairs of tracks across there and then we'll just replace this level crossing with the uk one and it looks all right actually it's pretty it's flat yeah i'll take that but yeah we might as well have that as a level crossing there's no urgency to have that as a bridge or anything and it doesn't harm to have a few level crossings in the game just adds a little bit of a little bit of interest a little bit of detail to the to the line so we'll cover, have that coming in there yeah i'm doing high speed tracks now because this will be a passenger railway as well so what i want to do is go around this oil well we want to be achieving this isn't a main line i guess you'd call this a branch line but we still want to achieve a reasonable top speed of probably around 100 well around 125 100 so just being aware of that but i do want to go around that oil well rather than straight through it and then we'll just come in start to bend in and i think this road that we're approaching probably does want to be a bridge because it's serving a town so let's pause the game because it's going to complain and then let's think about i think right shall we put in a station no what we'll do is we'll have some bypass tracks i think and then we'll have tracks heading in heading into the town and we're going going up into a little bit of a, a cutting there aren't we but we're still managing 100 well well over 100 miles an hour so don't really need to worry about that too much yeah nice actually that's not a bad little cut in that i'm just aware that we've got to get a i think what i'll do is i'll have a pair of tracks coming off going into a station then coming back and then we want to head towards towards reading that way so let's delete this crossing as well i'll what i'll do is i'll put this track in first because it's looking like it's going to be in a cutting for most of it anyway and then we'll come in and 
replace the road bridges. Uh, so let's go assets. Let's get rid of some of these trees so we can just see what we're doing a little bit. Still having a little bit of an issue with the keyboard binding since the update. I, I guess I can see what they were trying to do, trying to simplify, unify the control systems. But because I'm left handed, I use the arrow keys to go forwards, backwards, left and right. But for some reason, the keyboard binding option for that is, you know, you can no longer bind the arrow keys to the direction keys which is a little bit annoying if i'm honest and what it does instead if i press left and right no matter what i do it just you can see there it's changing the settings and let's say if i bring this menu up which has got up down sometimes it will um sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't <laughs> sometimes it'll just go like up down in this menu it's a little bit of a little bit of a gripe and it's really starting to kind of annoy me especially as someone who's left-handed and really needs to use the arrow keys i guess i could use the numpad but again i haven't tried the keyboard binding for that so um we will see maybe maybe someone will fix it i really hope so because it is a little uh a little bit frustrating right yeah def definitely can't use the wsd a sd keys not uh not an option right so let's get this track over over towards reading and we'll just leave it like that for now uh, actually where's the um yeah, we've probably built far too much track. Never mind. Right, so what we're doing is replacing these bridges anyway, aren't we? So let's get those done first before we forget, which I'm prone to do. So we'll do from there. No, up one just on the level. No, maybe up a little bit more then. Now it's miles up in the air now. Right, so that should should be like my like well high enough. Like well high enough. Great, great English there. Uh, let's put in, what should we do? An arch, perhaps? That's quite nice. Yeah, let's, let's chuck that in there. And then get in some track. Some track? No, definitely road. Some road. Uh, no, we want embankment. And then we just want to try and hook it up to that little bit of road there. So let's del destroy all of this. And then just put that in to there like so. And then obviously this wants to connect into the town. So let's have it pointing in that sort of direction. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then just a little straight, straight bit of road across there like so. It's quite a little nice, pretty uh, arch, steel arch bridge there. A terrain tools smooth off some of this. Now, another thing I found just while I'm moaning <laughs> is I've got the paintbrush mod, but you'll see here I've got the strength put up to 100% and it takes an absolute age to paint things. So I don't know if that's because I've got the mod installed and the mods kind of break in the paintbrush, but since the update, the paintbrush is just like so slow at actually getting, it's not so much the painting the surface, it's trying to get rid of those uh, bits of grass. And you can see there left, right, just doing the strength. But yeah, I've got the strength way up and yeah, we've got very, very slow removal of grass, which is just another another little bit of a gripe. I mean, everything else seems to be working since the update, update but that is a little bit of a gripe. So right, assets retaining wall that one uh no cap it wants to be four wide does it yes and then yeah this is this is where it gets a little bit frustrating because I, I need to press like the up and down keys but it was not letting me uh i will stop moaning about it in a minute right and then we just want to chuck that in about about there and then we just want another one around here again just page up until we uh, we're just in there a little bit and then just page down just to make that look a little bit better, like so. And then we've got another road bridge that we've demolished. This should potentially be high enough just to go straight across from here to here. Should we do, actually, if we go at 90 degrees to the track, we can actually put a uh, brick arch bridge in. I don't tend to use these very much. I don't know why, to be honest. This can be like an older, older piece of infrastructure. I guess the reason I don't use these often is because it, they do literally have to be at 90 degrees to the uh, to the railway or to whatever you're crossing because otherwise the uh, the bridge looks a little bit rubbish. So we want a, what's that? No, I don't know. I don't know what these mean, actually, to be honest. Is that small, medium? broad brick b we'll go that that's that's quite nice i'm not sure if i like that brick that texture though actually okie dokie that one i just want the that that color that's quite nice can i just extend that out a little bit and, and then what i'm just going to do very quickly is just upgrade this with catenary as we have an auto save and that's yeah that's more than high enough for uh for that so yeah that's quite nice let's just hook the road up so a uh, little bit of road over here into there and then again actually that's not very you know that's quite that tends to what they used to do you know you do find you have roads like this so where uh, but in days gone by when they've been building the railway that's on a little bit of a slope they will just you will have like this s-bend sort of thing where the roads have to cross the railway 
yeah, I think I'll I think I'll live with that, and then I'll just do a little bit of smoothing, and then we've got a nice nice looking brick brick bridge. I quite like the look of that actually. Need to use that more often. Okie dokie, so we've done those two road crossings. We've built far too much track. Well, it's not the end of the world because yeah, we will be using that very quickly, but the actual iron ore mine that I eyed up was over here. Now I don't know how to get to it because it's in the middle, it's in between two mountains. I don't really want to build a torturous route. I think we'll just have standard tracks. Uh, buildings, let's just go for cargo. That one, 320 meters long, number of tracks one. And then we will just, can I just bolt that? Are we getting tendrils? We are getting tendrils. So I think I might just take that, you know, just straight onto there. I think possibly, um, yeah, let's make it a little bit longer. Let's go cargo buildings. I think, no, car platforms, cargo platforms. Which one's the newer one? That one. Yeah, I think these are going to be like the longest trains or the longest platforms. So it's 320 plus two segments, which I think takes up to about 360 yard. So yeah, we'll we'll do something like that because I it's obviously it's going to take quite a while to get from there to here. So iron ore is going to build up as they uh, as they wait for the train to arrive. Right. So let's get some more track. This is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. I think I'm just going to try and worm my way, weave my way up this valley almost could be quite a nice little route this up but it's it's going to be quite slow i get the, the train will be struggling to get up this up this hill anyway so i'm not going to worry too much this actually does has a, have the potential to be very pretty indeed i might do a train ride on this cab ride um and then just trying to look we are going to have to have the tunnel at some stage i think what i want to do though is try and get rid of some of these trees because i really can't see what i'm doing and i think what i'll do is we're going to go this way for a little bit follow this and then we're going to have to have quite a large tunnel which kind of comes out <laughs> comes out onto the no what shall i do i don't want to have to rebuild that road bridge if i'm honest can i get away with i know this is a bit kind of out of the way which it makes the route a little bit less efficient and likely less profitable but can i do that it's not miles out of the way is it i know that would be a nicer route straight through that hill there but it just wouldn't be as interesting would it it'd be a little bit boring if i'm honest so let's uh let's see what we can do here is that doing a little bit of a tunnel that's that's overkill i think a tunnel is it is it a little bit of a cheeky tunnel why not and then just kind of we are almost doubling back on ourselves a, a tad but i think i'm going to take it and then we're going to have quite a slow curve coming in there and then i guess that can be that can be a level crossing but i think that just wants to be upgraded i'm not going to upgrade too much i just and now that looks that does look a little bit ugly and it is a main connection as well uh, can i just put in no let's get rid of that tree that's in the way let's just flatten like so and then nice very flat level crossing yeah if i'm going to use level crossings they at least have to look nice <laughs> they want ugly uh, ugly looking level crossings and then obviously we need to change it to the uh, the british one should we go with that one yep something like that and then obviously we just want i think what i'll do is i'll have high speed track have i got catenary there i have haven't i uh, bring the track alongside nice reasonably fast switch what we've got going on 80 that's that's more than fast enough let's go for 60 i'm guessing i'm going to be using class 60s on this so which have a top speed of 60 so we don't need to go mad with the speed of the turnouts uh, that's all looking good i think we just want to downgrade this bit though for now to uh to non-electrified that's all looking good couple of signals uh, so want that one one way yes i think we'll just chuck a signal on there and then a signal on about there yeah it is, it is doubling back on itself just somewhat but it's not uh, it's not the end of the world right and then this track here needs to be upgraded to double track which probably does mean that we're going to have to uh, rejig this track here doesn't it let's get rid of that signal and then we'll have two tracks so bit of a corner and then this is going to be a triangular junction as well it is let's have just that that coming down a little bit so that like so that like so and then can i just have another junction coming into the side of it like so and that just allows me to put in a one-way signal on that bit of track there which 
is all good and then just get this hooked back up to uh to that over there what have we got 56 is that just because the bridge yes it is good right we can uh we can put that in there and then can we get in 40 yeah that's probably fine a switch over here 60 and does that give us enough i think that gives us enough space for a train for a block section to go in so obviously one-way signal there and then a one-way signal around there yeah just let's just have a look at the build I, it's, you can't really tell too much but yeah that's when it's on a curve but that definitely looks long enough for a 360 meter long train to pull into it doesn't it so that's what i was most concerned about brush strength full brush size full no no not that big no that's that's definitely flattening let's do some smoothing please uh, again this does the even the smoothing brush just feels a little bit more sluggish than it was don't know i might be wrong but it just feels like it uh, i guess as we're here let's maybe put in some passive provision as well should we so from here 50 miles an hour junction switch too much slope right let's try it the other way around then so let's do from there to there let's just make sure there's no ugliness there's a little bit of ugliness there's lots of ugliness going on another thing that i'm finding this is another moan is um when i well, often i hold shift and i'll up like i'll do my tracks like this it's just not uh it's just coll collision so i have to do it like that which is and too much slope to mean too much slope construction not possible let me have well, I'll, I'll, I'll live with 47 then i guess right so a bit of passive provision anyway so signal there signal there let's just double double check that crossing ah oh, damn there's, there's ballast over the top of the track yeah there's just a, a few things that have changed i, I guess oh well, my only kind of guess is it's it's kind of a crossover from like the console upgrade uh they've kind of tried to do things but normally i would be able to hold shift and i would be able to fine tune this track but it's just not letting me anymore it's like no you've got to i guess they've tried to simplify unify things maybe but i definitely used to be able to hold shift and page up and page down to adjust those tracks so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Right, let's try and do this tiniest stub physically possible, and it's still really ugly. Yeah, recently it's it been. See, I can't, I can't make that track go up. Really, really annoying. It, yeah, up until recently, it was actually really forgiving. It would actually let you build junctions on quite steep slopes, and now it's just like no, no, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> not. Uh, it's, it's almost like they've taken your fine control away from you which is not good but i will try and stop moaning right so we'll jump that in there and then i will chuck in that track that i need so holding shift that's still gonna be is that is that better no yeah that's weird i can i can press sh like page up and page down i can do all this but i can't like hold shift to give me those really fine controls that i need in order to build a relatively decent looking junction not oh dear don't really want that's really slow turnout i think the the passive provision is going to um is that no that's just a cop out isn't it let's one more try so this looks a little bit flatter that i'm trying to work on here so let's just go with something like that uh, there's no ballast overtopping the rail i don't think we've got a nice turnout of 60 miles per hour and that's 60 let's just double check that oh damn it there's no i'm not not happy with that really it looks weird something's broken I don't know what it is, and it's it's quite frustrating. Right, so the passive provision is going to have to wait. I am going to have to uh, cop out at this point, because uh, otherwise we'll spend all day on that. I'm, I guess I'm just going to have to build a dead flat junction, but I'm not doing that now. I've spent enough time on that, uh, on that, I think. Right, so we want a route anyway. We want a new line from the quarry, which is here, to the steel mill, which is here. And we'll have a... Let's just... What? Just a little bit lighter than that one. Can that? What is there a darker one for that? No, just one. I don't really want it to be red. No, because that's then it's clashing with the other. It, it should be all right. It, yeah, yeah. We don't really need to differentiate themselves anyway, do we? So that is Derby. Derby. Yes, it's Derby. Uh, is it? Yeah, Derby Iron Ore Mine. Good. So this is cargo. Derby to workshop, and I've just noticed that one's needs capitalization. Not the end of the world, but it just. Uh, why is that should? Oh no, right. Okie dokie. 
let's get these perfectly suited so they're all kind of, you know just so we get the alphabetical order like so and then we're going to chuck on a train so we've got our depot here let's pause the game we don't need to be paused the game anymore new vehicle uh diesel locomotive class 60 again not the most attractive train in the world but it's just a good workhorse 60 mile an hour top speed we've used coal ass already what drax no db shanker we've got a db shanker i don't think we have actually so let's go a couple of dbs oh that says d dove holes the db shanker colors to me right and then we want cargo and we're using the pta bulk tippers aren't we why has that got or is it that one that one i think that's the one i i used i edited let's just do let's do these ones add a load of these until we get to about 300 meters long shall we 345 meters long let's see what that looks like chuck you on the end by no maintenance and you are iron ore derby to workshop like so are you gonna appear anytime soon let's just check these platform allocations actually while we're here can i just make you a little smaller um yes that should be no actually i don't want don't want you on the coal platform i want you on the platform number two it's only because we've got two trains already coming into the coal platform or this platform number three so uh yeah that's all nicely balanced hopefully we should be bringing in a bit more iron ore is the train gonna say hello anytime soon it's it's waiting for a free path still we've got that going that going yeah and then eventually what we'll do is once we've ramped up production i think we'll extend this line towards the machines factory and that should make the lumber and steel trains more profitable because they're not going round. i think i've never been 100 percent sure if anybody knows the answer to this as rail journeys does it go via the amount of distance traveled in terms of making money so do you get like a pound for every kilometer let's just say an example or does the actual kind of profit is it as the bird as the crow flies so from there to there would it be better to go longer or would it be better to do uh, i mean that's more efficient anyway there to there it means you're using less trains or shorter trains so it should be more profitable but that's what we're going to do anyway we're going to sh we're going to shorten the route no matter what the actual answer to that question is it's just something i've always been uh, interested to uh to know right so let's follow our nice yeah it's a definitely uh definitely db it's just the name of the train just for a minute i just want to appreciate that um that engine bay look at that detail without glitching into it just cr incredible detail on these it's amazing this isn't supposed to be a simulator but these are probably almost as good as some train simulator games i know of yeah that looks really cool just just wanted to appreciate it appreciate that for a second and what i'm going to do just going to wait for him that is that block section yeah if i come in with a another junction we are going to have to play around with the length what i want to do just want to wait for him to get to the station to see how long the train actually physically is and see if the platform's long enough so coming into the station there's loads of iron ore waiting which is good what capacity we got 480 capacity actually what we didn't do oh dear right derby iron ore full load if any minimum don't really need to do a minimum stop time but i always do anyway and then 120 seconds wait time but yeah we've got capacity for oh one two maybe three or four carriages so yeah that's uh that should be more than long enough and that should earn us a really nice profit actually even with the kind of route through there i think i might decorate that bit and maybe do a short cab ride just going through there but i think i'm going to leave it there for today leave you with this nice uh nice iron ore train wait for him to flip round once he's got a fullish load and say until next time bye bye